Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to make a bit of a follow-up video to the one that LGR recently made about the uh, Digi DigiSpeech Pro uh, audio device. Uh, those plug into the parallel port and uh, can emulate Sound Blaster in software. Uh, uh, but there's also the earlier DigiSpeech uh, DS201A, so that's the regular one, not the Pro. Uh, he mentioned it in passing, but one thing that sets it apart is the fact that it plugs into a serial port, not a parallel port. Uh, he mentioned it in passing, but he didn't really uh, uh, um, looked into it further. Uh, he was more interested in the, the, the Pro, which is understand, understandable, which is because it, it supports both... Uh, digital audio and uh, synthesis but this one is just digital audio even though it's actually quite sophisticated um, it uh, supports ADPCM hardware compression so it compresses uh, the, the digital audio uh, because the serial port has limited bandwidth of course uh, and it actually supports digital audio at 8 kilohertz which is actually better than the Disney sound source which requires a parallel port and it does this over a serial port so I, uh, as you can see, I plugged into a serial port with 25 pins to 9 pins adapter. Um, and uh, I was wondering if, uh, if I could get it to work with some games. You think, well, how? I mean, there's no Sound Blaster emulator for, uh, for the older DigiSpeech Digi devices, only for the Pro. Uh, so how would that work? Well, apparently, uh, there, there's this driver set called DigPack, uh, D-I-G-P. A K, K ditch pack, whatever you call it, by uh, was developed by uh, John Radcliffe back in the uh, uh, early '90s uh, for uh, yeah for DOS driver standard, and they're supported in quite a few games, and they're actually also uh, compatible with uh, games that use the audio interface library by John Miles. So you can actually use the, the dig pack drivers as a drop-in replacement for those as well. Uh, heads up for the people at Vogons who. Uh, um, I forgot the name. Someone at Vogons actually uh, pointed that one out to me. So, uh, and there's a, there's actually a, a, dig, a dig pack driver for the uh, DS201 uh, uh, um, audio device. So I'm wondering if I could get a game to work with it. So there's one game that you can patch uh, to work with dig pack drivers. That's uh, that's actually uh, Doom 2, uh, which only supports out of the box only supports basic stuff that you get in most games like Sound Blaster, MT32, etc. Uh, but you can actually patch it. Um, so uh, first of all, uh, let's see if we can get uh, the dig pack driver loaded to, to, to see if that works with this thing. So um, let's go here. So I downloaded it. There's someone in the VC Fed Vintage Computer Federation forum who uh, was kind enough to share the uh, uh, the drivers. Uh, I'll uh, add a link in the description below. Anyway, uh, so first of all. If you go to dig pack drivers, I already took the liberty of finding the right one. Uh, unfortunately, and there's one caveat here. This is a so-called foreground driver. There are two kinds of dig pack drivers. There are background drivers and foreground drivers. And the back dri background drivers are the only really useful ones in most games because they actually run in the background without blocking the the the, the, the main CPU the, the CPU thread uh, while playing back audio. Um, so that will probably make this unsuitable for many games, but still I would like to see if it works. So let's run it. So this is the dig pack driver for the DS201. Now it complains about LW Diggy being loaded and having to be loaded. That's the driver that comes with the uh, uh, with this device. So let's uh, uh, install that one first and there's actually an older version and a newer version I've tried both they have the equal results at least with the dig pack driver so I'll just load the latest one in this case which comes with typing with one hand that's always fun there we go so there's uh, so I'll load LW Digi and yeah, detects it on the first serial port. Now there, they it comes with some tools uh, which you can test it. Uh, so let's do. Uh, so there's this audio file uh, p1.pcm. You can play this one as well. I think this has some kind of compression, but it's a it, it's a it's a, a segment. It's a, a part that they took from a Star Wars music, and it might. Uh, uh, I might get content flagged if I play that one. So I'll play the basic PCM one. PCM, let's see how this sounds. The digit speech oh, audio adapter unit, a 
allows the computer to play back high quality sounds through the existing serial port of all IBM and compatible computers. Not bad, huh? That sounds actually pretty clear. And seriously, this is coming through a serial port. I was playing back through an 8 kilohertz sample rate. So now that we have that L LW digit driver loaded, let's see if we can load the dip pack driver now. So yeah, this is usually how uh, many games that supported this API, you actually would load these drivers in, in advance or the game would do it for you. Um, but uh, in the case of Doom, it uses the audio interface library and you actually have to patch it as if it were an AIL driver uh, and not load it manually. So I'm gonna reboot the machine for this reason. Uh, just put a reset button here. <coughs> and I'll also show how I actually patch the game. So basically, um, there is an actually patching tool for, the, for Doom 2. Uh, for the graphics ultrasound actually, uh, which also wasn't supported out of the box. Uh, and it basically uh, um, looked for the drivers in games. They're actually integrated in one data file. So, uh, uh, and it will actually patch, patch over the Sound Blaster driver with, uh, with ultrasound driver. Um, so basically we're, we're going to fool that patching tool uh, into uh, uh, using that uh, dig back driver instead of the uh, ultrasound drivers that it's supposed to be patching the uh, uh, the game with. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sorry for the uh, not so steady camera. So basically, as you can see, you have these two ADV drivers, uh, GF1, that's the chip that was in the original ultrasound. A graphics ultrasound in the there's a digital and a MIDI one and it patches the uh, M MPU 401 driver with the MIDI one and uh, I think the Sound Blaster Pro with the Gigi one. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do, uh, I actually already did that. So I have two dig pack drivers here, the one for the Kovacs, which by the way is a background driver. So if you patch that one that will work with the Kovacs. You can actually get Dune 2 to work with the Kovacs speech winning thing as well uh, or clone. So that's, that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. But anyway, the, yeah, the Digi Speech one, uh, 2256. If you look uh, what I already did, you can see the file size is the same. Basically, I copied the, the Digi Speech driver over the GF1 Digi. So now I'll run the patch tool. Uh, yep, so I do uh, put GF1. <laughs> Enter. So yeah, see, it, uh, it actually uh, patched the MT32 driver with the uh, ultrasound MIDI driver, which you don't really care about, it'll be ignored, and the digital audio driver with the, um, uh, with the Sound Blaster Pro one, uh, and it selected uh, a combination of MT232 and Sound Blaster Pro. M many uh, versions of Dune uh, did not allow separate music and audio selection in the installer. Uh, so the, the, the patching tool actually configures that for you. Uh, enable external, extend memory, otherwise you wouldn't get uh, digital audio in this game and mouse. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. It's funny, yeah, it's a different result than I had the last time. Oh, I know what's wrong. I forgot to load after rebooting. <laughs> that was pretty stupid of me. Let's try again. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, feel free to uh, fast forward over this if you want. There go. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so let's load. So we do load the LWG digit driver, but we do not load the dig pack driver because uh, Dune 2 will do that for us. Uh, CD. Uh, Go and uh, yeah, LW. It's 
load it. So now let's go to the game again. Let's run it now. I already uh, patched it, so let's see. Well, at least it doesn't crash now. Of course, there's no music because because we patched the MT2 th MT32 driver with the ultrasound mini driver, which it doesn't detect, of course. So uh, yeah. So let's see what happens. Okay, this is a bit unfortunate because uh, we're supposed to be hearing this lady say "Dune" at the beginning. We're not hearing that. Hey. Did you hear that? Okay, so it did, it did play something. Interesting. Let's hear the rest of the... Let's see if we can hear anything else uh, during this intro. Nope, we don't hear the uh, wind. Yeah, and the narrator isn't saying anything else. All right, let's see uh, what happens if we actually try playing the game. There we go. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, I knew what's going to happen because I tried this before, to be honest. But actually, uh, whenever you select uh, one of the houses, you actually hear the that house, like House Atreides, House Ordos, House Arcona, and then the game crashes. And that may have something to do with the fact that this is a foreground drive. But the fact that we got this four and you're actually getting some sound out of it, and the sound that you do get is actually not that much worse in quality. Actually, it uh, doesn't sound worse than a Sound Blaster card to me. I mean, many games didn't really use uh, sample rates uh, higher than 11 kilohertz, if that. So uh, so it's actually a shame that, uh, that that drive is a bit limited, but it actually showed that, uh, yeah, uh, it almost works. <laughs> uh, so, the, the, by the way, the dig pack drivers by uh, John W. Radcliffe from the Audio Solutions were actually open sourced recently, uh, uh, and uh, you can see in the source code even then there that the uh, that the digs uh, the, the DigiSpeech driver was considered one of the so-called orphan drivers. Uh, the older ones, he put it in an orphan folder, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah, uh, those weren't as well supported as uh, some of the other uh, sound cards. Um, uh, but yeah, maybe they can be picked up and, uh, and uh, uh, enhanced to become actual background drivers and, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, be made to work. I haven't tried any other games. You can, try, you can find a thread on Bogons by a user called Whistlehawk who actually lists uh, a very long list of games that support either the audio interface library uh, or the dig pack drivers, uh, both of which would work with drivers like this. But yeah, uh, yeah. But anyway, well, I thought it would be fun to show uh, uh, how far it would get to uh, get this to work with, at least with Doom 2. So, uh, and yeah, there are a lot of games, so maybe some of the games actually do work this way. Uh, we have to. Uh, I just wanted to show this one, and maybe some of you can try some of the others. Um, yeah, uh, it, it, it's an oddity. I know it's an old, old thing, but still, uh, I, I just thought that the idea of a serial, yeah, a, a, a digital audio sound device uh, that, um, that that outputs sound that is actually somewhat comparable to Sound Blaster quality, like uh, the old Sound Blasters, uh, and it actually works over a serial port. I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, uh, so yeah, all right. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, yeah, and uh, whether you want to like or dislike, that's all up to you. Uh, thanks. Goodbye.